The most exciting thing about Polymer for me is that it's pushing forward web component standards. Web components were in the wilderness for a while, lost in limbo, but now all the browser vendors are implementing the APIs and we can push forward. At Netaporte, we use Polymer to build a collection of components that developers can then pick up and drop into any project they're working on. Currently, we're working on a listing page. That's like a product catalog, but it's going to be personalized and tailored to every customer. At the moment, this is being rolled out to a subsection of our most valued customers, but going forward, it will be available to everyone. When we build components, we try and take on the methodology that was coined by Brad Frost, which is uh, atomic design. So we break everything down into its most granular level and then build up from there. But we make sure our components are shareable and reusable. If, if no one's going to reuse it, there's no point creating it as a component. So ideally for us, it contains many things. Styles, behaviors, rules, monitoring, versioning, all these things we put together to build an atom, and we call those atomic components. The biggest launch of Polymer and web components in Netaporte has been the product details page. This is where a customer will evaluate a product to see if they're interested in purchasing. On here we have upsell modules, which are like, you could wear this with. Also the form of how they select sizes. But I suppose the single biggest component would be the add to bag, which we need to drive revenue. So if we had problems with that, then we wouldn't make any money. We're using Polymer to solve workflow challenges by having a standard catalog of elements that are available. We use the Polymer standards for self-documentation, and their own components for demoing. This means a developer can just come along, see what components they can use, how to use them, and how to implement them. This has been a huge win for us. So for me, I'm most excited about the progressive web app movement. It's the one thing that I think will allow us to get near native. Previously, we've never been able to offer native-like behaviors or customer journeys, whereas now with the way progressive web apps are working and all the new browser APIs, we're really getting a step closer to that. So we have all these exciting challenges of how we build these new applications, but also how we test them. Uh, and for me, I think that it's the best time there's ever been to be a web developer.